today I'm going to be installing a ROM on my Galaxy J7 and it's called Radical Experience and it's like the S8 or the what was the Note 7 so currently I've got um, Android Marshmallow and I want to update change the ROM basically so I've got developer options enabled and you need to make sure that you have USB debugging and OEM unlock ticked and then now I'm going to power off the device and you should already have TWRP installed and your device needs to be rooted and make sure you have a backup now I'm pressing the volume up, home button and power button to boot into recovery mode. I've already got a backup of this ROM so I don't need to back it up using this. First of all, I'm going to wipe an advanced wipe and check these options here so I've got Dalvik cache cache data and system then I'm going to go to install and I have the item here radical experience and it's a zip file and I'm just going to flash that on there now it opens this up and it says only for J7 so make sure that your phone is a J7 and I'm going to just back this up and you can yeah you can select what you want to do wipe user data without internal storage wipe everything so that's what I've got selected I'm going to do the white theme and flip for briefing and pre root Then it says press next to continue. So now it's going to flash this ROM onto it. So just um, something to mention, before I did have problems flashing ROMs like some other ROMs for Marshmallow for the J7 because my phone was still on lollipop so I actually updated it and got the official version for Marshmallow first and my model is the J700H so it had to be specific as well and once I'd done that then I was I pretty much saved my phone because it was bricked so if you do get a problem while you're flashing a ROM make sure that you have a stock ROM for your exact model to back it up just in case anything goes wrong so now it's done and I'm going to say next let's see what happens so I actually had to um, <laughs> take out the battery because it had frozen and then turn it on again and now it's booting up so let's hope that this works it's looking promising it the first boot will take a while but after that it should work and then if it works I'll show you and show you what the UI looks like all right guys I am really really excited it has worked it booted it took a while maybe like five minutes i was a bit stressed but it has booted up here it says to set up so i'm going to start setting it up i'm going to go through all the settings and then i'll come back right so here it is set up and it does look like the S8. I am so happy. I really am. I really like it. It's just so nice. Look at that. So 
I'm really, really happy with this, and I'm really glad that it worked. Oh, we have to update Google Play services, but I am super happy with this. If your device is a J700H, I can definitely say this will work because it works on my one and I did have problems with other ROMs but this one didn't break my device so I'm very happy about that. If we go to the settings, this is what it looks like, brilliant, let me go to about device, let's see if we can, oh look it's saying model number is not the same model number but anyway if we now go to software info we're still running android marshmallow so not nougat or anything but still looks very 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 good and yep developer mode in case i need to do anything but i'm really really happy with how how it is um I'm going to do a review later on the speed and things like that on this ROM and oh, we've even got Flipboard and just how it is but I'm really happy with how it looks and hopefully this video will help someone out there who wants to get a ROM on their SJ7 that looks like the S8 and Thank you for watching if you liked it please give a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye